And joining us in the studio, we basically have some firepower today that we're bringing. Uh, don't shake your head at me, Mike. It's just going to get worse, and you know it. Uh, we've, we've got Mike Hurst here with us and Frank Bordeaux. And, and uh, Mike, I'm going to ask you before I get to Frank. Uh, can we use the term quitter for him? No. Or, oh, goodness, okay, no, okay. No. Just making sure. Let's, let, let's use the term hero. How about that? Yeah, I think that's a very good word to use in this case. And Frank, uh, Kind of torn by this because you have done a fantastic job as as the head of the Mississippi GOP. Uh, so hate to see you go. At the same time, I'm happy you're going to get to sleep a little better at night now. <laughs> My wife is too. I'll, I'll just bet. Uh, so you know you're moving on to bigger and better things. Uh, Let's just kind of sum it up. How has how has your term been to you, running it's been the great. party? Look, I had no idea what I was getting into when I got into it, and uh, I've met some amazing people across the state that will be lifelong friends. We've worked hard and we've had great success, uh, mostly under the leadership of Governor Reeves' agenda, and and we we were had an onslaught of record amounts of money coming in from out of state in 2023. We we're able to not only win the governor's seat but elect more Republicans across the state from alderman all the way up to governor than we've ever seen. And uh, it's been fun doing this. Uh, I think we've been very successful, but you also need to know when it's time to go. And um, I think bringing new energy and, and strong energy into the party is what we're going to be doing on Saturday and electing Mike Hurst uh, is the chairman. And it's a, it's a, a bittersweet to leave, but I'm very proud that my friend Mike is, uh, has accepted this role and uh, he knows what's coming at him. He's going to do a fantastic job. Oh, and I do have to say, Mike, can't think of a better person. Thank you. Uh, you're going to do a fantastic job. I know it. Uh, at the same time, are you crazy? <laughs> really? Well, have you have you spoken with my wife? It uh, sounds no, very familiar. For no, some but I suspect if I got an email, she would go, "Yeah, I know," and I, that would be about it. Dave, in a, in a in a very small way, I would say I'm a little crazy because Frank has done such an incredible job building our party. I mean, the foundation he has laid, the accomplishments. He he won't brag on himself, so I'll brag on him. Not only have we won incredible races throughout the last four years, but he's done incredible outreach with the minority. Well, he's done incredible outreach with women. I mean, the programs he set up, we've had, you know, weekly prayer time together. I mean, it's been absolutely incredible. So, yes, a little crazy to try to step in and fill those huge shoes. But if you go back and look at our party, the huge shoes we have from Work Yerger to Evelyn McPhail to Haley Barber to, you know, now Frank. I mean, it's a great it is a grand old party. But I see a lot of a lot of potential there. Uh, incredible people. Um, and just really just trying to build upon what Frank has already done and just trying to carry it forward and not mess it up. Well, and, you know, you, you and I have talked a lot of yeah. times, and, and I've got nothing but respect for Thank you. Thank you. At the same time, it's a lot easier to continue the momentum than it is to build Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Absolutely. And that's where Frank, I think, gets a lot of credit. You no can doubt. jump in any time and brag on Frank <laughs> Bordeaux if you'd like, Frank. Because no, I think you are giving me far too much credit. Lucian Smith has, did a fantastic job before me. The, the party's going to carry on. and But one thing that I would say uh, Mike understands about the party, and I think the Republican Party in Mississippi needs to take this very seriously, is after 2023, I think the Democrats felt like Mississippi is a state that they can, from a national standpoint, come into and start winning some races down ticket all the way up. And Mike understands that. Mike knows that in order to build on our success is to build the infrastructure at the local level. He understands that this isn't a top-down party. This is a bottom-up party. And we needed somebody like that. And that takes a lot of time, energy to go throughout the state. And so that's where Mike's going to do a fantastic job. And uh, our party has had a lot of success. But sometimes success, you know, leads to uh, sitting back on your laurels and, and enjoying it. And we, can, we don't have time to enjoy it as a party. We have to get back to work. And so this weekend we're going to elect the governor and the president's slate. It's our executive committee and our delegates. They're going to get to work. I believe the governor is going to put forth a very strong slate that is going to work towards not only winning November, but also carrying the, the, the party through for the next four years. Well, and you know, Frank brings something up, Mike. And, and since this is, uh, you know, you're now holding the bag, congratulations. Uh, <laughs> not until Saturday. Not until Saturday. <laughs> I notice he still wants to give you full credit for anything that happens bad over the next 48 and, hours. And good, and good. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll focus on the bad, though. Uh, but, but my question, Mike, is one I want you to expound on something that Frank just said. 
uh, just a little bit because he's exactly right. And I think that it's easy to lose sight of this. All elections are local elections. Absolutely. Every Absolutely. La- I don't care if it's for president. I don't care what it is. Everything is a local election. And if you lose sight of that, well, you wind up losing seats. Absolutely. You, get, you go back to Ronald Reagan and Tip O'Neill. You know, Tip O'Neill would always say all politics is local. And that's that no truer words have ever been spoken. We've got to exactly what Frank said, which is we've been incredibly successful in Mississippi over the last number of years as a Republican Party. But success sometimes can lead to comfort, complacency, you know, maybe maybe getting a little too a uh, little too a little too easy on ourselves. And so you see the Democrats are coming into Georgia. They're coming into North Carolina. They're coming into the South. And the last election cycle, last year, you saw the money they poured in for our governor's race. They are making Mississippi a target. We can't sit back and rest on our laurels. We have to not only build on what we've done, we've got to go even further. And so that's what we expect to do, get back to the basics, really, Dave, get back to our principles, our foundational principles. Everything we do as Republicans in the state should be measured against those principles that we believe as a party. You know, limited government, lower taxes, strong defense. You know, shockingly, shutting our borders. I mean, that's a crazy thought, right? Um, of those types of things, religious liberties, you know, protecting our schools and our children, giving our parents the right to raise their kids and educate the kids as they see fit. Those are the things that we got to get back to as a party. Well, and you're exactly right with the Democrats having the attitude of, oh, now's our, now's our chance. Absolutely. We can move in. They're open. The best way to win a fight is to always be ready for yep. one. Always go. be preparing for it. And, and go on the offense. We need to yeah. go on the offense. No more defense. We need to go on the offense. And that's, I think that's what I'm going to try to do over the next four years if I'm given the opportunity. And we've got young, enthusiastic men and women in this party that, that believe the same thing, and I think we'll be able to do a lot. Well, and, and that is an important, important, Frank, you've done a good job with that uh, during your term. Uh, because we, we also have a tendency in the Republican Party to kind of lean towards the older generations? Uh, we do. If we're going to have a future, if we're going to move forward, if we're going to continue to build what we have already started building and done a great job with, we got to bring the younger people in uh, and get them on board this train too, right? That was the exciting part of this this past county convention cycle. You saw a lot of young folks step up. This past election cycle, you saw a lot of young folks step up and get elected. And so you're seeing the transformation and the older folks in the party are excited about that. They're excited to see them be able to actually hand the torch uh, forward. So you're going to continue to see our party be younger. We're going to have demographics that we typically haven't had in, in our party. And, and that's all exciting news. And I will say, obviously, listen to uh, Mike just a second ago. The governor made a great choice. I mean, he's he knows what he has to do. He knows what the party has to do. And he knows how to lead. And so... Obviously, uh, I'm proud that the governor has uh, tapped Mike. Yeah, I think he made a good choice. Too. <laughs> I really did. Again, and, let's call my wife Celeste. See what she says. Um, no, I feel the exact same way as Frank does. I was speaking to the Ole Miss College Republicans a few weeks ago, and, and Dave, these guys and gals are fired up. I mean, they are fired up for our country. I mean, you saw the the protest, the very small, minor protests at Ole Miss, but you saw the counter protests, seeing God bless America, USA. I mean, this is what our young people want. They want to stand up, and we as Mississippians, we respect our elders. We we have deference and and all the respect to do the, the elders of our parties and others. But at the same time, you're exactly right. We've got to give these young folks an outlet to continue to move forward in their conservative principles and their values. And that's what we plan to do. Well, it's the difference between going into maintenance mode or build, continuing Absolutely. to build. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, and we have to continue to build because, as the old expression goes, if you're not moving forward, you're falling behind. Yep. That's right. There is no standing still. That's that, right. That doesn't exist. It's a, it's a river. You know, you're either you're either – Going downstream, if you're going to sit on that inner tube and just, you know, or you're swimming upstream, and we're going to swim upstream, we're going to build this party. Well, and that's what we have to do. Now, I understand uh, that we have a special visitor coming in. We do. We're very excited. Uh, when Laura Trump was elected co chair, she said, What can I do for Mississippi? And I said, We need you to come to Mississippi for our convention, not only to help us raise money, and that's what ultimately she's there for, but she's also going to support the slate that Governor Reeves and President Trump has put together. And so it's going to be an exciting night. We have a lot of great speakers, Cindy Hyde Smith, Roger Wicker, obviously our future chairman. But come out to the trademark tomorrow at 530. 
great fundraiser that we're having, and uh, co-chair Laura Trump is, is going to be there. And she's super energizing, and if it, she'll make you definitely proud to be part of the process. Well, hey, can you guys stick around for just a minute? I know you've got to go set up your tea times for Monday, <laughs> Frank. And, and, and Mike, you've, you've got a lot of paperwork to finish up. <laughs> but right. if you can give me just a couple yeah. more minutes, we'll, we'll keep talking here. Uh, Frank Bordeaux, the outgoing chair of the GOP in Mississippi, and Mike Hurst, the incoming uh, basically person whose fault it is if something goes wrong. <laughs> no pressure, Mike. Yeah, no pressure you, whatsoever. You. We'll continue with them live on Middays in the Element Well Studios now. Rhino with the bumper music, I think, giving Mike his nickname as the <laughs> incoming head of the Please don't. Please Republican no nicknames. Party. Mike Sledgehammer Hurst. He's taking care of business. <laughs> Knocking down the walls, baby. Uh, Frank Bordeaux, outgoing head of the Mississippi Republican Party. He's on the clock for another day or two, and, and then he gets to exhale. <laughs> because that's one thing I think people don't really think about very often. They go, oh, man, he's made it to the top. That's where all the pressure is. <laughs> that, that's where the problems float up to every time. And there's a lot of stress and a lot of details to track involved in this job. That's right. Uh, a lot of folks don't realize that, you know, the party's real job is to run the primary. Obviously, we're supposed to recruit c candidates, raise money, and then make sure that we win a in November uh, against Democrats and independents. And so, uh, but there's a lot entailed, 82 counties, and you have 82 executive committees, eight, you know, 82 women's clubs and, and clubs, and you want to keep them motivated and keep them growing. Um, and so there's a lot that goes into it. Uh, but ultimately, I think decentralizing the party, as we've done, and giving the locals a lot more uh, control of their own destiny and start really asking the executive committee to go out and create district chairs and de district URF chairs and, and grow in the party that way has been very successful. And uh, I think that that trend will continue in Mississippi. Anytime you see a state party that tries to take full control and a chairman try to take full control anywhere in the United States, they fail. And so uh, we have to continue to do what's made us successful in Mississippi. And, and quite frankly, that is going to be what will help us uh, in the future, but definitely in 2027. Well, and, and it goes back to what we were saying in the first segment. All politics, all elections are local. Uh, so that, that was a brilliant move to decentralize it and literally make it local, uh, because I think that makes it function better. Absolutely. I mean, you get more work done when you got more hands doing it. And we've seen that throughout our county chairs, our county executive committees. Um, the work, I was up in Union County, New Albany, earlier this week. And um, to see those men and women show up at 6 p.m. on a Monday night, and, and a ton of them, to show up. To, to I told them, I said, you know, this is what it looked like, in my mind at least, this is what it looked like back in the revolutionary days when they're all gathering at the pub and trying to, you know, form their contingencies to fight the British. I mean, this is, well, I don't want to be too melodramatic, but this is where we are as a country. We've got an administration that has taken away our rights, that is allowing our country to be overrun by not, not only other countries, but, you know, illegal aliens coming across our borders, and we've got to stand up and take it back. And so that's what I see happening in our state and, in, and throughout our county parties over the next four years. Well, and in a lot of ways, it's turned into a horror movie because a big part of the problem and part of the threat, well, the call is coming from inside the House, specifically up in Washington, <laughs> the House of Representatives. Uh, and that's why local parties and why the Mississippi Republican Party is so important. We have to accomplish in Washington what we have accomplished here. And the best way to accomplish something is go find somebody that's already done it and, and get them involved. Uh, and we've done it, Frank. You've done it. Lucian well, did it. Mm -hmm. That's All right. All of you have. And one thing that we've done as a state party that I think in a lot of other state parties have kind of followed suit, whether it was the race in Georgia in 2020 or Virginia in 2022, Mississippians did what Mississippians do. We we sent our folks up to Georgia and Virginia to knock doors and to help. We made thousands and thousands of phone calls out of Mississippi we're going to continue to do that. In 2023, we saw my counterparts in Tennessee and Alabama and Louisiana help in, in our race here. We're encouraging our local race, our local county parties that may may be red as can be, and Republicans are going to win, to start helping in counties where they're struggling and in order to grow the party. 
but we're going to continue to do that. Mississippi, you know, I'm proud that we've kind of led a charge. I told several other states the other day, they were like, what's the RNC doing to help us? And I said, well, you may be struggling in your state, but the states around you aren't struggling. Mm -hmm. Let them help you. And so I think that uh, as a party, we can build ourselves up, and, and definitely in Mississippi we're going to continue to have that attitude of uh, you know helping each other, helping our neighbors, and uh, working hard to make sure good Republicans are elected. And, and frankly, that comes down to us individually as Republicans. I mean, we, we have to take the individual stance and the individual initiative to do that. I mean, in, in, in the year 2000, it's hard to believe that was 24 years ago, but oh, in the year 2000, you know, my wife and I lived in the D.C. area, and uh, we volunteered with the RNC, and, and they sent us to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, the last weekend of the presidential election. I imagine two re- Mississippi Republicans in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, go door to door. The only thing I think saved our lives was we had a baby and a little puppy that they just felt <laughs> sorry for us. But we did that over and over again. I went down to North Carolina in the early 2000s. I came back home to Mississippi and helped out in the Pickering versus Shouse congressional race. Um, my family and I in 2016 went up to Missouri. This is what we as Republicans have to do. We, 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 we tout individual responsibility. We tout individual initiative. We can't sit back and wait on a, a party chairman or a county chairman to tell us to go out and get involved and help others. we got to get out there and do it ourselves. No, that's exactly right, because when you get right down to it, successful politics operates on the buddy system. Absolutely. That's right. I mean, it really does. We've kind of lost sight of that to a certain extent. Uh, just nationally, mm-hmm. we've lost sight of that. And I think we have to lean harder back into it to continue to build on the success that we've had, which is the goal. I know it's Mike's goal. I mean, come on. We know what he's going to do. Frank's going to be sitting at home cheering you on. No, no. Frank's going to be right there in the fold. He doesn't know it yet, but he's going to be just as busy at non-chairman as he has been as chairman. So don't don't tell him, though. Okay, Dave? Okay. Yeah, it's just (laughs) just between you and me, Mike. It's no problem. Oh, oh, hey. Hey, Mike. (laughs) Frank just walked back in. Okay, go. Shh, shh. Okay. Yeah, it's We're, there is no rest for I'm the I'm going to take a break and then I'm I'm here to do whatever uh the chairman and the governor asked me to do as well as our other statewide. We're we're one big team here and uh I'm excited to help in any any manner that I can be helpful. Well, and again, and I w- I want to make sure we get back and we touch on this again and put it out uh that we have Laura Trump headed to town uh tomorrow night, isn't tomorrow it? Tomorrow night. night. Yeah, tomorrow night she's going to be here. 5:30 at the trademark. We asked you to arrive early. There's a lot, you know, uh, we're selling tickets like crazy. It's only $100 to attend. And so if you want to come and attend, uh, you can come. There's other levels if you want to take a photograph with her or, or you know, other other options. But we, we would ask everybody to come. This will help us fund the party through the rest of the year. Laura was so great as uh, making it very clear that every dollar raised tonight or dollars that goes to – the state party and the state infrastructure, and that is shows you the type of leadership that she and Chairman Watley are. They understand the value of state parties, and um, so we're very blessed to have her, and we're excited to hear what she has to say. There's going to be a few other things that are going to happen tomorrow night that, true, you know, our Republican Party is going to be excited about. Well, maybe a few surprises if your guests come out and you know attend. Oh, really? So. Yeah. Oh, right. yeah. You're getting a little tease yeah, here. Little I bit. like Just that. A little bit. A little bit of marketing. Yeah. Mike, Mike's got this he's, figured he's out good. already. No, no. That's, that's why he's coming in. I'll tell you, it's perfect. But I'll just say this. If you want a strong national Republican Party, it takes strong state Republican parties to make that happen. Absolutely. 100%. Uh, and that's why it's important to support events like this, uh, to support your state party, uh, even if it is on the local level. Even if you go, I don't care if you spend 30 minutes on a Saturday and go knock on five doors when it's needed, you're helping. That's, that's right. huge. Yep. That's right. If a lot and, of people do that, we're in business. And we have to remind Republicans that, you know, we are there to serve and we're there on a voluntary basis because and we have to be there because democrats have almost an endless amount of money to hire people to go door to door to hire people to make phone calls we need to volunteer we need to serve because we don't have endless amounts of money i can't send out a tweet and say hey we need money in mississippi and it pours in from outside of our state if you look at who funds the mississippi democrat party it's not mississippians it's folks from out of state. If you look at who funded our the last gubernatorial candidate for Democrat Party, it wasn't Mississippians. It, were pe- it was people from out of state. We don't have that luxury in Mississippi. And so we need Mississippians to go out and work hard and volunteer and get involved. Well, that's exactly right. And, and that, that goes back to the, the analogies we were making in the last segment. 
uh, the the best defense is a good offense. Absolutely. But you have to know what battle you're fighting. That's right. And that's a big part of it right there. So we have to double down. We have to bow up yeah. to, to be able to compete against things like that. And that's why these kind of things are so important. And moving forward, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to say something. Mike's going to hate me for this. Probably not the last time they're going to need your help. I, I, I'm just telling you, it, that needs to be a continuous thing moving forward because when you take your foot off the gas and start coasting, well, the first hill causes a problem. That's right. That's so right. you got to keep your pedal to the metal. That's right. And I think you're the guy to do it. Well, I really, thank you, really. Not, you know, it's it's you know we're we're all human. Um, you know, the party's kind of like a big family. We all love each other, but sometimes we don't see eye to eye, and that's okay. You know. My my wife would be the first to tell you, she and I don't always see eye to eye, but we still love each other. And that's how the party is, and that's how it should be. We're going to work together for our conservative values, and we're going to make Mississippi better. And so at the end of the day, you know, with the media trying to divide us, trying to talk about the division between the Republicans, statewide, elected officials, whatever, at the end of the day, we're, we're conservatives. And we believe in conservative values, and we're going to fight for those. And, again, we're just going to make Mississippians' lives better. And, Frank, you've done a fantastic job. I'll ask Lucian next time I talk to him, is there some sort of jacket that yeah. you all get? <laughs> That's not a bad idea. We you know, every, uh, like a master's jacket or something. A little you know, red just, jacket. Yeah, yeah some, red something jacket. like that. we got, we got to hook you up with something, Frank. Great job, though. Thank, Thank you, you for very your... much, Dave. Thank you for having us on. Thank you for Super Talk for what you do every, every day. Well, it's all because of you guys, so keep up the Thank good you. work. We continue on Middays in the Element Well Studios. 